Well, I take responsibility when the club is playing this way. I think we all take responsibility. Uh, I don't think anybody think the players take responsibility too. I know they're not happy with what's taking place. I do think we're a better club than this. I think we have our strengths and we have our weaknesses. It is never an easy day around a baseball diamond when a manager is let go. There's Rob Thompson, who's been named the interim manager of the Philadelphia Phillies, the 56th in club history, talking to the all-time winningest manager in Phillies history, Charlie Manuel, as the Phillies get set to take on Mike Trout and the L.A. Angels in game one of a three-game series. As now, you probably have heard the news. Joe Girardi has been relieved of his duties as the skipper of the Philadelphia Phillies. In 2022, of course, the Phillies seven games under 500 and 12 games out in the division, still within reach and still within reach in the wild card. So Rob Thompson named the interim manager, 28 years with the New York Yankees. He was uh, at the, the side of Joe Girardi for many of his successful runs with the Yankees. Mike Calitri has been named the bench coach for the Philadelphia Phillies. He was already in the clubhouse with the ball club. Hey, everybody, I'm Tom McCarthy, and Dave Dombrowski has been nice enough to join us up here in the booth. And, uh, Dave, you've been around the game for uh, quite some time. Uh, this is never an easy day for anybody when you're in charge of an organization. No, it's not. It's one of the toughest days that you have uh, in your career when this happens. You have a relationship with the manager. I great relationship with Joe Girardi. I like him. Talk to him twice a day. Uh, he's a good person, a good family person, good baseball man. So anytime you have to make a business decision, yep like this it's not an easy day let me ask you why now i know you've been asked that today but why now at this point in the season well i think uh, re in my analysis and i'm with the club all the time and talking to different people first of all i still think it's early enough in the year where we can come back and we have a chance to make the postseason now no the division is way off but even if you can win a wild card spot anything can take place and i think that real from my perspective a different voice was needed in the clubhouse at this time. Just somebody that can give maybe a different a message in a different way. And I think that Rob Thompson was the right guy to give that type of message. What is your message to even Rob and the coaching staff after a move like this? Well, first of all, it's you do your jobs. I mean, Rob is now responsible for running the ship. It's his responsibility. You guys work it together. Any questions that you have, please do it. Don't try to get everything done at one time. Don't try to put too much pressure on yourself. Let's just try to play the best game we possibly can today mm -hmm. and try to win a series. And then we go from there. So I think we have enough talent in the clubhouse. I think communication is extremely important, not only between me and the manager and other people in the front office, but with the players, with the coaching staff, with the training staff on a regular basis. And I, and I really emphasize that to Rob and to the staff. I know that each year and each day we learn something. What have you learned about this team that you think can get better as this year goes on? Well, first of all, I think that we'll hit better. I do think that that will take place, and that's really an important part for us. But I also think that um, from a fundamental perspective, and when I say that, right now we, we look tight. Okay. We, we, we're not a loose club, and I think that that can change in some manner too. I do think we have good starting pitching as it is. I mean, they've had an occasional off day, but I think our starting pitching is good. And even though we scored runs, I think we can score more runs from an offensive perspective. We had a bad defensive couple weeks. We're not a great defensive club, but I do think we're a better defensive club than we played over the last couple weeks. All right, Dave, I know it's been a long day. Uh, we do appreciate you coming on with us tonight. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, Dave Dombrowski uh, here in the booth as we prepare for the first of this three-game series. The Phillies will start play tonight 22 and 29. Seven games under 500, 12 games out, but still, if you take a look at the wild card, certainly that is still within reach for the ball club. All right, so tonight it will be Zach Eflin going after his ninth start. He's part of that starting rotation that Dave was talking about that really has been solid for the Philadelphia Phillies. Lineups at first pitch when we get back. Phillies baseball is brought to you by the Toyota Camry, now with available all-wheel drive. Visit your local Tri-State Toyota dealer today. By Xfinity, supercharge your home with supersonic Wi-Fi, only from Xfinity. By Citizens, official bank of the fills. And by Independence Blue Cross. Learn more at IVX.com.
Get Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. Youngest second baseman to ever have 30 home runs and 100 RBI. And we've seen him do it time after time. Boy, he has gotten hotter than the Georgia asphalt from the right side of the plate. He makes that play as good as any second baseman. And it's a seven RBI night for Ozzy Albee. So I'll say it, mercy. What a night. On MLB.tv. This Czech team. Some of these guys have regular nine to five jobs and they're up against MLB All Stars. Everybody's got a day job. I'm a teacher on high school and I'm playing center field. I'm a fireman and I'm a pitcher. The manager of Czech Republic. He's a neurosurgeon. <laughs> like, what? We're not doing it for money, we're doing it because we love it. We're not pros, but I want the feeling that we are the pros. The Czech Republic is headed to the World Baseball Classic. Zach Eflin is all ready to go and warmed up for game one of this three game series between the Phillies and the LA Angels. Taylor Ward will lead things off, and here's the first pitch. A fastball in there, according to Ramon de Jesus. We're underway. What a beautiful night for baseball here in South Philadelphia. Taylor Ward's had a heck of a year so far 333 with 10 home runs, 26 runs batted in. 28 years old and really coming into his own this year. Yeah, some guys, you know, they. They try to rush him up to the big leagues, but apparently he needed the time. But he's rewarding him, the team, and himself with this great start. Line drive past the diving Alec Bohm at third. So a base hit to start the first inning. So a leadoff single, and that'll bring Shohei Otani to the plate. Rest of the lineup for the Angels brought to you by Xfinity Supercharged Home with Supersonic Wi Fi only from Xfinity. So it's Otani, then Trout, three time American League MVP. In fact, we have six MVP awards in the ballpark tonight between uh, Trout, Otani, and Bryce Harper. It's up for how many years we said Mike Trout's the best overall player in baseball. He might not be the best overall player on his team. <laughs> Otani you know, hitting 244 with 11 home runs and 32 runs batted in. Takes on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Yesterday he started one game in the doubleheader as a pitcher, and then started another game as the designated hitter. Hasn't happened since 1945 that a guy would play one game as a pitcher and one game as a position player in a doubleheader. Hit down the left field line. It's hit well. It's slicing and foul. Wow, just foul. That didn't slice as much as I thought it was going to slice. No, John. that thing, <laughs> that thing came close. It looked like he hit it off the end of the bat and popped it up, but it's about a 340-foot pop-up down a left field line. So 0 and 2 with a runner at first base. And a call, strike three. That is a pitcher's pitch. Be on your toes tonight, boys. Ooh. What out? Take that. Trout. Not surprising. He is very popular, despite the fact that he's only played one series 
here in Philadelphia in his career. Well, and very, very outspoken about his love for Philadelphia sports. Eagles especially, Phillies. I mean, just every sport, really. He had a great press conference today. Yeah. And he was a little late to it because he got stuck on the Walt Whitman Bridge because there was an accident. Bad accident. Said he got a chance to go home last night after the doubleheader at Yankee Stadium. He went fishing with his son today. Got a haircut. And he takes strike one. Uh, it's it's not a any secret that his Achilles heel is that elevated fastball. He has gotten better at it over the last few years, but it's still if you're going to attack him, that's probably the way to go. You throw something low with his swing. Hold on to your horses. The foul and it's 0 and 2. Although he did come in struggling, right? 0 for his last 15. Correct. Yeah, 0 for his last 15 and 6 for his last 35. He got hit by a pitch in yesterday, one of yesterday's games. He said he is sore, but he's fine. He also said there's no way he's missing this series. There's no way he's missing these games. Yep. Three infielders on the left side. And a breaking ball swung on and missed. Two outs here in the first inning. It doesn't matter how much Philadelphia loves him. They still love the fact that Zach Eflin got him out. Yeah, you, his last two swings, his back foot, look at his back foot slide out. Watch his back foot right here on this breaking ball by him. Look how it's sliding out. I don't ever recall him not being stable on that back leg. Well, but, there, hey, there's Rob Thompson. Hope it continues for three more games. Rob Thompson, the interim manager of the Philadelphia Phillies, taking over for his buddy Joe Girardi. And here is Jared Walsh. Rob and Joe have been together a long time with the Yankees and with the Phillies. He's waited a long time to be a, a manager on a full time basis. So you know when he first started he wanted to be a manager like everybody did. So his dad told him just enjoy where you're at that day. Don't worry about the next day. So he was honored to uh, be asked to be the manager of this ball club today. One ball and one strike to Jared Walsh. But he did say it, there was mixed emotions because of his friendship with Joe. Yeah, that's got to be tough. You know, they've been together for so long, and you know, your buddy gets fired and they ask you to take over. One ball and one strike. Ground ball right side, and that's going to split the infielders. It's also going to allow Ward to go to third base on it. So first and third with two men down. And Walsh who broke up the perfect game of Jamison Tyone yesterday. Picks up a base hit here. That ball got through that infield quick. Mm -hmm. Two outs, you're running on contact, and Ward had no trouble getting the third. And now you got a situation where Reese has to hold on. Walsh opens up that hole a little bit more. You mentioned the uh, Mariners have lost eight straight. There's a liner out to right on the first pitch to Rangifo. And he's retired. The side is retired as well. No runs, two hits, and two men left. On to the bottom of the first here in South Philly. Get Direct TV with a two year price guarantee.
Get direct TV with Late to lead things off for the Philadelphia Phillies. Let's look at the Phil's lineup brought to you by Xfinity. Supercharge your home with supersonic Wi-Fi only from Xfinity. So Schwarber leads it off, then Hoskins and Harper. Castellanos hits fourth, JT Real Muto fifth. Alec Bohm bats sixth, the bottom third of Maton, Bryson Stott and Mickey Moniak. He'll face right-hander Chase Silseth out of the University of Arizona. And the first pitch is smoked deep to center field. Trout's going back. It is gone! Off the back wall on the first pitch. And Kyle Schwarber gives the Phils a 1-0 lead. 432 feet. Wow. Good start. I don't know how you get much better. Good lordy sakes, is that ball crushed. Look at how short and quick, though. So yeah, ba the balance, but it's not an overswing. Just so short and quick, and such a strong human being, man. What a bomb that was. It's such a big deal to have a home run to lead off a game like that. You saw what it did on opening day. That was the second, that was the first one of the year. That's number two. He has 15 career leadoff home runs, and that is the 400th run scored in his career. Nice to do a drive in yourself, huh? Yeah. So Silseth gives up the home run. It's just the 30s allowed, and all three have come against left-handers. And it's one ball and one strike to Reese Hoskins. So what you're trying to say that uh, Bryce, Maton, Stott, and Moniak should uh, fare pretty well? Compared to the righties, yeah. One and two to Reese. Hey, what, the old fighting fills are coming out swinging, aren't they? Reese swung at the first pitch, wherever first pitch homer. Thou shalt not pass, Tom. Not a bad way to look at it. Aggressive, be aggressive. Yep. One ball, two strikes. Check swing, two and two. Alfonso Marquez says he didn't go. 13 home runs now for Kyle Schwarber. Now, if they were watching the Otani at bat, wouldn't you think that Silseth would throw something like off the plate a little bit to see if he can get the call like they got it like Eflin got against Otani. So we get a miss. He throws the slider. Well, Joe Madden, the manager of the Angels, his 19th season as a big league skipper. He's won a World Series. He's been to one with the Rays, too, that the Phillies, well, the Phillies won. That's right. And now Silseth, who, John, remember back in 2021, the Angels selected 20 pitchers in the amateur draft out of 20 players. Oh, my gosh. Well, he was one of them. He's the first to come to the major leagues. Apparently, though. they were pitching thin. I think that was their thought. Harper takes outside, 1-0. Harper one for eight in the series against the Giants. He didn't play in game three. Another off speed pitch. That's a split, and it's one and one. Those might be the whitest spikes I've ever seen. Bryce has on. Oh, yeah, they're very, they are very white. They're like Oakland A's white. Yeah, like there's no other color. Well, white isn't a color, though, really, is it? I don't know, in my world it would be. Crayola thinks it is. Or if they Fred, wouldn't put the white crayon in there. John, if Crayola thinks it is, then it is. Then it is. Okay, we're good there. Two balls, one strike. And a fastball. Two and two. See the way the infield is set up. The shortstop, Wade, is out in shallow right field. Ooh, 3 1 changeup. 
It's almost as if Bryce knew it was coming too. Probably going to get it again, I would think. And he does, and he hits it foul. Stackcast powered by Google Cloud. Gives us a look at what Silseth throws. Eight minor league games before he's called up to the big leagues. Came all the way up from double A, John. Where is their double A team, do you know? Well, it says it's Rocket City. Oh, yeah. Probably not far from Houston. Probably right about that. The ball hit sharply. Diving stop from Rengifo. And he throws a one hopper to first. And there are two outs. It's a talented man right there. Chain in his mouth. Make a play. Dive in play. Rob Bryce of a base hit. That's a great play. I like the fact too that he bounced it, but he gave it a long bounce to Walsh at first base. Makes it a lot easier for a first baseman. Yeah, it was very controlled. Yep. John Rocket City is in uh, Madison, Alabama. Yeah, not far. Their nickname, you're going to love this, the Trash Pandas. The Rocket City Trash Pandas. Double A in the Southern League. I like to see their logo. What is it like a panda coming out of a trash can or something? Like what? Uh, that ball's hit well. Out toward right for Castellanos toward the corner, and it's ah. caught by Taylor Ward. It's actually a raccoon coming out of a trash can. That makes sense. Kyle Schwarber, this ah. makes a lot of sense. A leadoff home run gives the Phils a 1 0 lead as we go to the second inning. TV with a two year price guarantee. At Kroger, we want our fresh produce to meet your expectations, which is why we do up to a 27 point inspection to check for things like color and scarring. Because when it comes to fresh, higher standards mean fresher produce. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Aquí en, en Magdalena estaba un está chiquito, lo único que hacíamos era, era jugar béisbol todos los días. Todas las oportunidades que pueda representar a México, ahí voy a estar. Well, I think uh, so that gentleman's going to have to eventually come to the ballpark in a, uh, a Schwarbaum hat instead of the Mike Trout hat after Kyle Schwarber gave the Phillies a 1 0 lead in the bottom of the first inning. Here's Brandon Marsh to lead it off. And he takes outside. It's 1 0. If you look at Marsh from a distance, you're looking, when did the Angels get Charlie Blackman? Yeah, no kid. Didn't hear the walk up song, though, Charlie. Did not. Love that song. Marsh loops it out toward left. Schwarber is there. He can do it all, Tom. It's a one-man wrecking crew, that Kyle Schwarber. 
And here's Max Stassi. You know, you know, we have a little bit of time, but you know, you talk about the, the firing of a manager. I know, you know, I was there when Larry Boa got fired. Uh, I was here in Philly when Nick Leva got fired. And, you know, I always thought, like, I felt guilty. I felt like it was my fault. And, you know, all the players that I talked to at, at the day of the firing of a manager, we all thought that. Yeah. And I'm sure that these players now are questioning themselves about, you know, this is on us. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what Nick Castiano said today. You know, he said it's a sad day when someone loses their job because of how we are playing. He said that affects me. Yeah. So that's unfortunate. And everybody loves Rob Thompson. There's no doubt about that. And he's going to do a heck of a job. Uh, Reese went on to say, he said, I guess it's just part of the business. He said, there's some bittersweet to it. He said he cared about us, meeting Joe, as a group. And we didn't do enough winning. And, you know, what's the bottom line? Winning. You know? We're, we're past the stage now with the Phillies that we're looking to develop. Now it's winning. Right. And they weren't winning. And changes have to be made. And I'm sure it wasn't an easy decision for Sam Fold and Dave Dombrowski in the, in the front office. Yeah, Reese went on to say, he said, it's about results, and the results need to get better. And I think that's what everybody felt. As Eflin delivers just off the plate. Results would have been a lot better if he'd called that a strike. No. It would have been a lot better. He definitely did in the first inning. Over to third. Alec Bohm has time to throw Stassi out. So two away here in the second. And Matt Duffy's coming up. Odds powered by points bet. All right, so John for the Phillies to make the playoffs. Yes, plus 475. No, minus 667. Folks can place their bets. What does that mean? Like plus four, whatever that was. Yeah, so if you put 100 in, you win $475. What do you think about that? But you can put in for them not to make? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you. There's Matt Duffy. He takes a strike. It's 0-1. Can you can you can you put in? Can you put in that possibly the Reds aren't going to make the playoffs? You could do it all if you want to. It's really? not just the Phillies. We just gave you what the but Phillies. You probably, for the remember Reds are struggling, right? Correct. I mean, you probably have to put in like 10 million to make 100 bucks, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you want to split it? Yeah. How about we go 70? How about we go nine? No, I can't split it, John. <laughs> you got college to pay for. I got college to pay for. Swing at a foul tip. What a two. And, and, and I'm not picking on the Reds, but they did get off to a horrendous start. Went three and 20 something. They did not get off to a good and start. I, and I hope they turn that around because, you know, I, growing up in West Virginia, that's the one of the teams we could get on the radio, the Reds. Mm -hmm. 18 and 32. They've played better. And Duffy's down on strikes. Third strikeout already for Zach Eflin. That's 12 pitches. One, two, three. Go the Angels. We're on to the bottom of the second. Phillies one, Angels nothing. Direct TV with a two-year price guarantee. With your feet on the air and your head on the ground. Try this trick and spin it. Yeah. Yes, sir.
there's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. You know I didn't come to play. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now's the time to get in and get away. Get 0% APR, zero payments for 90 days, and 500 bonus cash on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Already saving by adding Xfinity Mobile to their internet. Unbeatable connection only from Xfinity. So apparently this Appalachian League has some interesting names. Southern League. Well, this, someone on here says the Appalachian. Something else entirely. O Otter bots. Right, yes. And sock puppets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some interesting names yeah. out there, John. Yeah, why not? Marketing, man. It sells. Those logos sell. JT fouls it away, and it's one ball and one strike as we begin the second. Seth last pitched against the Toronto Blue Jays did not fare in the decision. He did get a win in his major league debut against Oakland. He went six innings. He allowed only one hit. No runs four strikeouts. But he's always moving out on the mound too. Over to the right side Baby. and a base hit for JT. He's hit it five straight. Leadoff hitters batting a thousand top in today's game. That's right, two for two. Yep. How deep that ball got. If he casts his hands out and tries to pull that ball, he's going to hit it off the end of the bat and hit a little, probably back to the pitcher. But he stays on it. Let your hands do the work, Tommy. Well, here's Alec Bohm. Bohm is one for his last 11. Put some back to back hits together. We already proven we can score on the home run, Tom. Let's string a few hits together, get our big rally going. You want to start showing different styles? Yeah, show how diverse we are offensively. It wouldn't be bad, though, if you had a home run. I wouldn't, yeah, I don't think I'd, I'd write it down. Paul said sharply to second on one hop. And then exchange nearly knocks Johan Camargo off his perch. Four six on the put out. Tyler Wade could not make the exchange. Had a fielder's choice for Bohm. Yeah, the, the, the feed from Rengifo wasn't really that great. You see how Wade had to reach back and That, I mean, when you're sitting there like that, leaning up against that post, it's tough to move. <laughs> Just let it hit you and move on. Thank goodness he was there to protect Matt Walt. Because Matt would have taken it. Here's Maton. Maton, who homered in his first game back the other night, also picked up another hit. Big one. And a bunt single. Big, big home run. Oh. You want to talk about changing the mood of a building. They should do that like uh, the NBA has a three pointer, you know? Yeah. Get extra run if you, how far you hit it. Like Schwarber's, it should be two. The one Maton hit should be one. 
What about Peterson's the other night? Second deck. 12. <laughs> you want us to put bullseyes out there? Oh my gosh. That thing was loud. I did think about that, that if you if you put bullseyes around the yard. That one might have a seat to itself. Of course, we have seen Ryan Howard hit it over the batter's eye. Yes. Like so that would be one. That would be a one pointer. So Peterson was a two run homer, so that should have counted for four runs. Mm. Schwarber was a solo, but should have counted for two because right. it went so far. What if uh, somebody catches it like in well, down, then you're out. down in Savannah Bananas? You know, well, then you're out. You see, ever see that? So I guess they're an independent league team in Savannah, Georgia. The Bananas. If there's a ball hit into the crowd and the crowd catches it, it's an out. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about speed up rules. Big time. Can you imagine though, if, if you didn't allow people to bring gloves in, but you rented gloves? Because you would want to get one, right, to help your home team? I would. I would agree with yes. There was a ballpark that did rent gloves. The Braves. Oh, that's right. They yeah. had to deal with Mizuno, right? right. They, that's you, right. You can rent the glove. Just a bit outside, ball four, and that'll put runners right. on first and second. Well, I think the strike zone's changed. Speaking of the Atlanta Braves, they're coming to town for the first time Tuesday, June 28th at 7.05. It's uh, three night games. The third one wraps up at 6.05. Visit phillies.com to purchase your tickets today. The shortstop will work well. And a high fly ball to deep right field. Ward is going back toward the scoreboard. Gone! First major league home run for Bryson Stott. It's a towering three run homer. And the Phillies take a 4 0 lead. That is one he will never, ever forget. Not the young youngsters picking it up for the Phils. Yep. Last game against the Giants, both Stott and Maton delivered for him, and now tonight. Maton works a walk, and then. And stop with his first big league homer. Now that's a cool one right there. Phillies are up four. And Mickey Moniak takes low. It's 1 0. Mickey's 0 for 6 so far. Uh oh. Back Maybe the strike's on the. The strike zone isn't different. Reality. I don't know. I don't get it either. All right, well, that guy's got the baseball. Bryson Stott home run. I want a Bryce Harper autograph game use bat. Well, when Garrett Stubbs hit his first major league home run, uh, the folks that that had the baseball. They traded it for a, a Garrett Stubbs bat Should. and ball. I think that's awesome. I never got mine back. Opposite way. There's a base hit for Moniak. His first of the year. And Moniak's got good speed, but he puts the brakes on. The Angels might get somebody up in their bullpen. Yeah, I, you know, they've lost how many in a row? Eight in a row. Eight in a row, and you know, it's already four. Last thing Joe Madden wants for this thing to get out of hand this early. So 
So Matt Wise goes out to uh, talk to his pitcher. Jim and Corey react to the Phillies change at manager. Check out the latest Phillies Talk podcast available on our website, YouTube, or wherever you find your podcast. Presented by T. Toy Oda. Well, Jim and Corey might be talking about what the uh, the jolt was that Kyle Schwarber gave the Phillies in the first. It was a jolt. Oh, kid. Great way to start the managerial career of Mr. Thompson. And Modiak draws a throw. But this is what you have to do when the team comes in struggling like the Angels are. Like you said, Tom, they've lost eight in a row. Bury him early. Yes. Try to bury him early to just make them think they don't even have a prayer. Oops. Whoop, that got away. And then got away again. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's a wild pitch. I think you might be right about okay. that. I don't want to assume anything. After he threw it, he looked right at his hand like it slipped. Huh. Maria warming up in the bullpen for the Angels. I, I just don't know why a pitcher would not keep going out that way. Why he wouldn't go yeah, out that like way. Yeah, like why I don't understand why you wouldn't go out there again. Yeah. Now he he is calling it some of the time yeah, not that's... all of the time. And that's why I mean this is where you're going to get jawing from the from the, one of the dugouts eventually. Yeah. I think Kyle was looking for something different. Two balls, two strikes. Inside. center field Trout's going back does he have room it looks like he might he does he makes the catch Moniak will tag and go to third Ooh. Ooh, boy that one just missed going out that baby goes out he has a chance to hit nine today <laughs> yeah that's a good point John well nine, hopefully nine, get eight. maybe eight we don't want him to bat in the ninth inning. All right, so Joe Maddow's out. And that'll be it. Pitching change. Phillies lead it four nothing. We'll be back with the new right-hander right up to this. With your feet on the air and your head on the ground.
DirecTV with a two-year price guarantee. Get Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. With your feet on the air. Think you know, think again. Brought to you by WHYY. All right, John, here we go. In his first, very first at bat as a 28 year old rookie pitcher, Hall of Famer Hoyt Wilhelm hit a home run. His career lasted for 21 more years, and in 493 plate appearances, he never hit another home run. So he hit one in his first, and never hit another one. But man, could he throw a knuckleball, John? Yes, he could. That's a drought, though, isn't it? What's that? 21 years without a homer? That's a drought. That's a drought. He never had that feeling again. You know who had that feeling tonight for the first time? I do. Bryson Stott. Bryson Stott. All right, so here's Berea. Ninth ball game for him. 23 and a third innings. I like that feature. I think that's kind of cool. Inside, one ball, no strikes. Huskins struck out his first time up. He's got Moniak over a third. Waits on deck. Three balls, one strike. Three and two. Hey, you don't want to be taking that quick jab step out of the box just yet. Set cast 3D. Ball four. <laughs> Three and two. Four. He'll save the pitch. For the best coverage of the game, let's check out T Mobile coverage cam. And Howie Roseman was on the field before the ball game today. Talking to Joe Madden. He's had himself quite an offseason, hasn't he? I'm sure, Mike Trout was happy to see him. Yeah. It's taken a lot of heat though recently in the last handful of years. Mm -hmm. I guess he, uh, you know, made a nice trade. He made some nice drafts, and he's going to show up. They like him now. I thought that was the funny thing about Trout's press conference today is that ball is hit in the air to shallow left field. 
Tyler Wade says he has it and he does he makes the catch. I would say what was a two third now maybe a third of the questions were about the Eagles. Yeah at least. Philly scored three though the three run home run by Bryce Harper his buddy Bryce and stop. The crack of the bat is back and T-Mobile customers get a free MLB TV subscription. So switch to T-Mobile and get ready for free MLB TV. Redeem March 28th and April 3rd at T-Mobile.com slash MLB. A lot of playoff wins together, and we've we've battled through some tough times. So um, there's a bond there that will never be broken. Um, having said that, when Dave offered me this job, I think that um, the decision to for of Joe's firing was already done, and then Dave offered me the job. I think I would be foolish uh, to turn down a major league manager's job. Yeah, Rob Thompson has been up for other major league jobs, including the Yankees after Joe had left and uh, didn't get it. obviously Aaron Boone got it. A ball served out to left field. I think we've said this before, John. We've known Rob Thompson for a long time, even before he came to the Phillies. You're not going to find a find a finer man no. in the game of baseball. I mean, no. He's as good as it gets. And, and Tom, I bet I bet if you ask Joe right now, or if, if Rob Thompson called Joe. And said, Joe, I, I don't know what to do. You right. know, you're my guy, and we've been friends for a while. Joe would probably say, take it. Right. You've earned it. I would agree with that. So, you know. Well, Joe, and Joe has said that. He even said Joe did his MLB radio show today, even after he had been let go. And he said that, in his mind, Rob Thompson should have been given an opportunity long before yeah. this. Well, and the thing is, he's got, what, almost three quarters of a season? Yes. To prove it? Like our buddy Matt Stairs, he's a member of the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. He is from Stratford, Ontario. Ball is grounded out to shortstop, and Bryson Stock perfectly placed. And he throws out Taylor Ward for the second out, and here's Otani. Thompson becomes just the seventh manager born in Canada to take the reins of a major league team. Tommy has fans everywhere, everywhere he goes in the Major League Baseball. Yeah, I was talking to uh, Angels announcer Mark Gouza, and he said he's. A combination of the Rolling Stones and the Beatles everywhere he goes. <laughs> That's pretty funny. He it's said true. the media is just everywhere, and he said he handles it as good as a human being can handle it. Yeah, in fact, Mike Trout said that that he doesn't know how he does it. It's Ichiro, but maybe even at times even more. Each row, I mean, there were a lot of folks traveling with him. Oh, man. But he was a rock star. Must not like that last strike. Got a little chunk out of his helmet there. Hmm. That bounced, so it's one and two. See that right by the ear flap? A little chunk out of there. Been there, Shohei. He does have a quick bat. That hurt a little bit. He does have a quick bat. 
Yeah, this is, you know, this is how you have to pitch this middle of this Angels lineup. Let Otani hit with two outs and no one on base. And hopefully get him out and let Trout lead off. Otani last year, 46 home runs and 100 <laughs> runs batted in. Plus, he went 9 and 2 with 156 strikeouts. First walk issued by Eflin, who doesn't walk many. Mike Trout's coming up, and our Citizen Stats leaders, Citizens brought to you uh, by Citizens, the official bank of the Phils. So the active on base percentage leaders, Trout at 418. You know, you look at Votto and think how great his is, but then Trout's even higher than him. Yeah, that's amazing. Trout has 1,468 career hits. You know, you wonder. You know, Mike's had some injuries, you know, the wrist, the fingers. You know, you wonder if he had a healthy of those full seasons, what numbers he would have put up. He's scary. He's, he's scary already. Yeah, he's a big guy. And it's kind of cool listening to him talk today about going back home to Millville. He said, I'm just a normal guy. In Millville, he said, "I can go to any restaurant, gyms. I gotta go there." Wasn't that last year we talked about that? Yeah, two years ago. Two years ago. Uh, three before the pandemic. He said, "Gyms, flight line." He said, "I can go anywhere there." Wawa, and I'm just a normal person. Yeah, he said, he, "He said, I'm just Mike from Millville." Right. He said, "Out in Southern California, you know." I'm, on California Mike. It's a little different. I, I would imagine he gets noticed out there if he goes out in Orange County. One ball and one strike. Runner goes. Oh. Pitches it high in the air to left field. Playable though for Schwarber. Got it in on him just a little oh, bit. And goodness. he makes the catch. The other side is retired. No runs, no hits. And one man left. Middle of the third. Get direct TV with a two year price guarantee. Gehrig Day all around baseball. The Phillies, of course, were off yesterday, so they're celebrating that today. We're also celebrating what usually is our, um, our, our ALS festival here at the ballpark. We're kind of doing it with the game 
as part of it. Fans came in today and got a chance to receive some of the items uh, that were being being given out. And those are uh, four folks who are suffering uh, through ALS and their families uh, who are here at the ballpark today, who are an am amazing group of people uh, who we're going to talk about in just a little bit. As Nick Castellanos leads things off and takes inside one ball and no strikes in our great friend Ellen Phillips and I do say great friend because you Absolutely. are a great friend of the, of the whole organization Ellen Phillips from the uh, uh, Philadelphia chapter of the, of the ALS Association we've got our ALS shirts on that Good. our friend John Shambi uh, put together uh, this is always a moving time of the year for all of us but now that it's Lou Gehrig day the baseball implemented last year it brings the the topic of ALS to the forefront even more it does, and it's so wonderful that MLB has declared that one day, the second, yeah. which is when Lou Gehrig um, died, actually, and also I like, think started his streak for consecutive games played. Um, the uh, to have this be for across the board, every team brings uh, credence and it says how important this disease is. Lou Gehrig died so many years ago, and we're still looking for uh, the cause, the cure, and we're going to be at it mm. until we do. Yeah, June 2nd, 1941 is when he lost his battle uh, with what, you know, at the time wasn't called <laughs> Lou Gehrig's disease, but, you know, his name and his face were put onto the forefront of it at that time as JT takes inside. It's one ball, no strikes. I want to quickly make sure everybody knows you can go to phillies.com slash Lou Gehrig auction. And there are different jerseys, like a Zach Wheeler St. Patrick's Day jersey, Bryce Harper, uh, Lou Gehrig Day jersey from today that he's wearing in the game that'll be auctioned off. All different items. Mike Trout game use bat. Yep. Uh, Tiger Woods signed flag from the Genesis Invitational that you can bid on, and it's all part of raising funds uh, for ALS. And as John knows, as a player, now a broadcaster, the Phillies have been kind of married to the uh, Philadelphia chapter of ALS since 1984. Yeah, I just, you know, as soon as I got here, that was one of the things David said. He said, look, here's what we do here. This is how we run the organization, mm -hmm. David Montgomery. And then he said, and, and every year we do, uh, you know, you're going to sign autographs, be a part of the ALS festivities that day and uh, whatever day they determine it to be. And that's what we did. No complaining, no, you know, just that's what was expected of us. Yeah. And I didn't know anything about it, honestly, when it when I, I first got to Philadelphia. But you see JT with some of the patients, uh, Gene Segura, it looks like Aaron Nola there with some of the ALS uh, patients. And it didn't hit you until you saw, and then you're like, God, now I know why they're doing this. Yeah. You've got to find a cure for this thing. And that's been your goal, Ellen, and everybody else from the ALS chapter in Philadelphia sure, since absolutely. you were part of it. Yes, I got involved because my husband was diagnosed with ALS in uh, 1982, mm. and he died in 1984. Our daughter just turned three at the time. Gosh. That ball is called a strike, and it's 0-2. Uh, what I think is great, too, as John mentioned, we're all part of it. He mentioned David, obviously Bill and Nancy Giles. But even you know, as it's carried over, the Middleton family, the Buck family, they've Absolutely. all done, uh, they've all sort of carried over that legacy. It's been a team effort all the way down the line, and we're so grateful. There really aren't words to capture how incredible it is when we talk to other chapters and they find out that we're the principal charity of the chapter. They just can't believe it. There's the Tretzmans. Yeah. And Chloe just graduated West Point. All, all uh, Chuck went there, plus uh, two, all three yeah. of their kids. I get chills watching that uh, because there's Chuck's beautiful wife, and you mentioned Chloe. Uh, she's the youngest of the three that graduated from West Point. Uh, and the speech that they read, uh, Chuck wrote most of that speech with their help. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they, he wrote his introduction today, which unfortunately they had to cut a little bit of. Yeah. But just... Uh, how he would never give up. He said, I'm, I'm a soldier. Yes, I'm never going to give up. He was also the MVP of the 1988 <laughs> Army-Navy game. That's how yes, good of an athlete he was. Yes. Well, Ellen, we will keep on pushing this. Oh, thank you. Thank uh, you. So We love important. having you up in the booth all the time. Thank you very I much. I enjoy it. Thanks. But we will be having a cure. We will. Sure. We, no doubt. 
phillies.com slash Lou Gehrig auction. All the proceeds will go to help solve this disease. There's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. You know I didn't come to play. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now's the time to get in and get away. Get 0% APR, zero payments for 90 days, and 500 bonus cash on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Get Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. Welcome back to the show. You know what time it is. I can't wait to see what you have in store for us today. Is that flour? I hope so. There we go. Now we're gonna pop this in the oven. Like about 96 metal metal. Now, about how long does that take? And we're done. <gasps> Ooh, hot. Fresh, delicious packs of Top Series 1. And the filling is my favorite part. drives like that. Something special happens. There it goes! See ya! Oh, what a shot by Stanton! He put it into orbit! Another monstrous homer by Giancarlo Stanton. Right here on MLB.tv. Yep. He flied out to right field his first time up. Side, what a no. That's a beauty right there. <laughs> I don't think uh, when Gifo thought that was a strike, but. I thought that was the best of the strikes that he's called. Yeah. Off the hands. And Maton says he has it and does. So that'll be a pop out to the second baseman on the shortstop side. Two outs. Well, now time for our ultra strong stats brought to you by Charmin. How about Zach Eflin against interleague teams, John? Do you think that's because they're not used to him, that his numbers I, are that good? I, you know, I know when I played that, the, you know, they always said that the American League was a high ball hitters league, and perhaps, uh, you know, that sinker is baffling some of the American League teams. Yeah, maybe. Well, there is the sinker, and it's low. 
And it could be, you know, you, you, you can watch all the video you want, but until you actually see someone. And see the action. Yeah. The only thing I ever wanted to know with the pitcher was, you know, a guy you've never seen was, you know, what, how hard does he throw and does he have a trick pitch? Like, does he throw a split? Does he throw a screwball? And I figured I could make the adjustment with the rest of it mm -hmm. just by watching him. You know, especially when Lenny's leading off, you know, you're going to see the repertoire before you get your first at bat. Tony Gwynn was the same way. Hit behind him. Oof. That was a curveball that looked like a slur more than anything. That's a wicked movement. Whatever it was, it was a dandy. I wonder if he ever gets that gum stuck in that beard. He's chewing gum. <laughs> Line drive caught out of the air by Reese. And it's a one, two, three, fourth inning. Twelve pitches for Zach Eflin. Middle of the fourth inning. Phillies lead it. Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. Your 2022 RAV4 Toyota today. Toyota, let's go, Phils. Tell you what, you are a sharp dressed man, Ben Davis. Whoa. Huh? Come over here into the front of the camera. Let everybody see you. Come on. Yeah, if you do, you get paid for an extra day. Come so on. come on come in. Come on in here. Look, he how, got, look how dapper this he guy is looks. Sharp. Love the little Carolina blue with the tie there with, he the, is. with the what are those Canadians Mallards He's, have you never done TV before you need a microphone if you're going to talk. What about me. <laughs> Thank you man. Yeah. Ben texted me all the time make, make sure I was all right. And thank God because I need that support group. <laughs> That is going to go plead some case out right now. What and two. Would you argue with him? I would. Well, we do. But yeah, well. <laughs> he's never dressed like that when we do. I appreciate you all. Every, everyone here, you know, making sure I was all right, man. It felt good. Felt wanted, Tom. You are definitely How many wanted. Many times you feel wanted. Well, yeah, but. Normally not by a TV crew. There was that FBI crew out in San Diego yeah, that, that one time. That was fun. <laughs> two balls, two strikes to Maton. Life lessons. Maton's down on strikes. I don't think he liked that. No. Nope. Oh, how about this? This Miller Light moment from Bryson Stott. Hey, 
Got one in the happy zone right there, down and into a lefty. We know what lefties can do to that one, and that was no cheapy. No. Three points on the board for the fight, Phils. You know, that stirred the uh, Las Vegas city limits. And he stands in, takes strike one, it's 0 and 1. That one out to left field, not as deep. And now two away here in the fourth. Mickey Moniak coming up. Oh, that's a thing of beauty right there. That is beautiful. It ain't the mountains in West Virginia, but it's a close second, Tom. Yeah, it was nice out today. It was. Not that I ventured out, but. Well, no, I did venture. I was outside today. I was going to say that you had I, to park your car and come into the building. I had to. I flew in this morning. Oh, you did? Yeah. There's a liner to deep right field. Stay fair. Nice grab, even if you picked it up. It still count. Yes, it does. <laughs> Up the first base line. Boniacs retired, three unassisted. We have played four innings here at Citizens Bank Park. We'll head to the fifth. Four nothing, Phils. Get Direct TV with a two-year price guarantee. Soy Cindy y el primer mordisco del Chipotle de Los Sandwich me hace sentir que mi paladar está de fiesta porque agarro todos los ingredientes en una sola mordida. Siento el sabor del pollo, el queso derretido, la lechuga, el tomate y por supuesto el pan. Direct TV with a two-year price guarantee.
This baby sale for oh, Bryce Harper. White Sox win! I was part of all the, um, a lot of the live auctions here at the ballpark early on. They were fun. I had never done it before. But I had to be an auctioneer. And uh, you try to get the, the number up as high as possible. It was pretty cool. Those guys can rattle, can't they? Oh, and then we'd bring in real auctioneers, and you'd be like, I can't do that. Oh, no, those guys are amazing. 38 years, the ALS Philadelphia chapter has been the Phillies' primary charity. Ellen Phillips, who was here, uh, she kind of mentioned the story. Her her husband was diagnosed around that time and then passed away. And there was an article that appeared in the Philadelphia Inquirer about uh, his battle for ALS. And Ellen's cousin lived near the Giles. Dylan Nancy and their dog used to run into the Giles dog used to run into Ellen Cousins backyard. One one pitch hit in the air to right center field. Moniak got a good jump. He's under it makes the catch. So anyway so they were looking to get the Phillies involved and you know one day when the dog ran into the yard Ellen's cousin showed uh, the Giles is the article and then there was a meeting. How about these names. I'm going to throw some names at you Johnny. Vince Noss, Regina Castellani, yeah. love Reg, Wheels, love Wheels. Yeah, they were all part of the Phillies community service team, and Bob Dernier's wife Vicky was the uh, representative at the time, and that's where it all began. It started with a fashion show. And we saw footage of that fashion show tonight. Was Bobby D in the fashion show? I believe he was. I know Mike and Donna were Mike Schmidt and Donna Schmidt. Mike had a. If anybody remembers uh, those sweaters that Lou Carnesecca used to wear. Oh yeah. It was, was kind of like that sweater. With coach at St. John's basketball. Oh and one to Tyler Wade. With one away here in the fifth inning. Oh and two. There you go. Look at that sweater. Man, he was cool. Wasn't he cool? He could wear anything and look smooth. Oh, man. Is that Jet? I think it was Steve Jet. Jelts? I think so. No balls and two strikes. Wade flied out to left his first time up. But the, you know, ALS has touched everybody's lives. You know, for me, my, my great friend Larry O'Rourke, former sports writer, uh, who I you know, covered a lot of events with when he was at the Trentonian newspapers in Trenton. He was affected by it. He covered the Eagles for the morning call. One and two. Ground ball to first. Hoskins has it. Turns to second for one. Back over to first and not in time. Wade was able to beat it. Fielder's choice, two outs. Tell you what they they executed that well. I, we could run. Oh, good lord! I, yeah, I thought that was going to be an easy double play with the, just by watching the throw from Reese and the turn by Stott. Perfect throw to Stott. Yeah, he was moving. Yeah, he was flying. So now two outs. This is the one you want right here. Yeah, tell the word up. Let go, tiny lead off. Mentioned the Phillies uh, have been affected by a player wise. I mean, there's Nick Nelson. Uh, Nick and Aaron Nola both have lost uh, uncles because of ALS. In fact, uh, Nick was telling us today about Kenny McGill, his uncle, passed away on his birthday uh, last year. He said, What was hard about it is that Kenny was such a big outdoorsman. He said, We'd always go over his, his house for holidays. And, you know, he was always driving the kids around on this four wheeler. And he said it was hard to watch him go through what he went through because he was so big in life. And the disease takes so much out of you. And Aaron Nola, he lost his uncle uh, as well. 
His uncle Allen passed away February 10th uh, 2021 in Baton Rouge. He battled it for six years. He passed away at 75. So everybody's been affected by it. I would think in some way, shape, or form. So if you can give, we would love it. Phillies.com slash Lou Gehrig auction. You get some great items. Have some fun with it. 0-2 pitch coming. In the dirt. JT keeps it in front. Great job. One and two. And there are some, some treatments to battle ALS to maybe prolong life. It affects everybody differently, the disease. But think about it. Lou Gehrig passed away in 1941 at the age of 36, which is the age of 38. And it's still basically the same disease. Swing and a miss. Eflin gets the strikeout, and the inning is over. That's a 13 pitch inning. He's in control right now. 65 pitches through five. No runs, one hit, one man left. Gorgeous night here in Philadelphia. Top of the order is due up when we get back. Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. Now $114.99. Watch all out of market regular season games live or on demand. Plus, MLB big inning. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Visit MLB.tv for details. Bottom of the fifth inning, Phillies are on top 4 0. They've got a solo home run by Schwarber and a three run shot by Bryson Stott. And Schwarber will lead things off. Takes strike one. It's 0 1. Just got a text message in between innings from a buddy of mine that uh, very good friends with Larry Bird and Larry Bird's mom, Georgia Marie Bird, passed away of Lou Gehrig's disease. Oh, really? Yeah. Swing and a miss. One and two. Died in 1996. Wow. Two and two on his way upstairs. And we haven't scored in a while, have we? In a couple innings. This guy's done a good job. Inside. If they wanted it.
And ball four, so Schwarber walks. Second walk issued by Berea. All right, John, we're taking a look at our points bed live. And tonight's over under when the game began for runs, total runs, was at nine. So now as the game moves on, you know, they adjust it, and it's down to seven and a half. So any combination of Angels and Phillies runs. That means if we're gonna if we're gonna get to the seven and a half runs, the Phillies are gonna have to score four more. You can look at it that way. That's what yeah, I'm you can look at, at it that way. So you can go to the points bet app, uh, and you can do it throughout the game because that, that that number will change, and you can keep on betting on what you think the the line will be. But if you bet nine early on, that's where the number will stay for you. But now you can go. It's at seven and a half, and later on it might go. So if you bet and it's at nine, yeah, and then it drops to seven and a half, it, can you rebet? Yeah, I believe you can make an additional bet. Yes. I guess there, there are probably some people. There are probably less people that, or more people that have certain things that they like to lock into. The over/under being one of them. So they may do it periodically as the game goes on. I'm not very good at this batting thing. <laughs> Owen to Reese. He struck out his first time. Walked his last time. I think that's just amazing how far sports has come. I remember when I was in AAA playing in Las Vegas and even in A-ball in Reno, we weren't allowed to go anywhere near a sports book. Right. And I had a buddy of mine from West Virginia who, I forget which casino, Tropicana maybe in, in uh, Vegas. And I was going to go over there and meet him for lunch one day and I went over there and he he said, I'm in the sports book, but don't come in here because you're not allowed. Because I and I'm like, I'm just a scummy minor league guy. What the heck? Well, they probably still had a post in your locker room, though, too, right? About yeah, the oh, yeah, yeah. We had that. Uh, <laughs> you always stopped and read it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Every day. <laughs> two balls, two strikes. Let's see if Reese can't take something out over the plate. Just shoot one in the right field. And a line drive. Base hit down the oh, left field line. It'll be a thousand total bases for Reese Hoskins. And it'll put runners at second and third with nobody out. That's a nice way to reach a thousand total bases in your career. He's the fifth fastest Philly to reach that number. Stassi wanted that pitch away, but it just stayed in the middle of the plate. Just a nice, easy, short swing by Reese. Gets a pass to Divin Duffy down that left field line, and now you're looking at uh, seven and a half, Tom. Mm, yeah. <laughs> All right, so there you go, Johnny. Last 40 years, Hoskins has reached 1,000 career total bases in 562 games. The fastest is Ryan Howard, who was the fastest in a lot of things. Home runs, all those things. Chase Utley's on that list. The great Juan Samuel is on that list. Love Sammy. And Scott Rowland. I love Scotty. Yeah. And Ryan. Who else was on there? Chase up. And Chase, too. And we love Reese. Huh. Tom. City brother we love. That's baby. right. We're, We're spreading it. We're spreading love all over. <laughs> Joe's not real happy with the city brother we love right now, but Hazelton, right? Yep. And uh, Lafayette College. Almost got into a fight at Lafayette. That's almost like the Stripes movie where you almost. Yeah, I, I, I don't like know Wisconsin. what I was doing. I went up there. I don't know how I even ended up there, but I ended up at. That could Lehigh. have been part of the problem. Well, yeah. Could have been why I almost got into a fight, too. And we went to a wrestling match. Fly ball left field. Pretty deep. Marsh going Real back deep. toward the wall. It is gone. 
Opposite field, three run home run. Seven nothing. Phillies on top. That's 30 extra base hits for Bryce, by the way. It's only one night, but obviously this is what they envisioned the Phillies offense would be. And that ball went up so high that when it left the bat, but uh, you know about the tremendous power that that man possesses and Bryce Harper at bat speed. And that ball just kept carrying and carrying. And I honestly think Marsh thought he had a shot at that one when it left the bat. But. Yeah, it definitely took off. Castellanos takes in 1-0. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to score a half a run, but. <laughs> Two balls, no strikes. All right, so you're going to finish your story about going to Lehigh? And yeah, I don't know. I, I, I've never been to a wrestling thing in my life. I don't know why I would it end up, the, up there, but you know, I'm sure. There's another towering shot to left. Marsh is back. It's going to stay in the yard. Oh, your wrestling story wasn't serious enough, John, nope, to get that ball that, out of no. the yard. <laughs> What that? What was it? The first one, nine and a half. Yep. Might be coming into play here. No, nine, and then seven and a half. Nine and seven and a half. We only need three more runs combined. Uh, yeah. Well, two. Well, I guess you got to. Yeah, you got to get to three. Got to get to ten. So you do know something about it. I learned it from my son. See that? He's got the MLB logo tattooed on his neck. On the other side? Yeah. Got a piece of JT. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Keep those digits out of the way. Already lost Gene Segura, who, uh, according to his reports, had successful surgery. Yeah, he didn't see it, didn't hear it, but they're going to ask. Oh, did he not call it a hit by pitch? No. I thought I saw him put his hands up. It's pretty clear. Alfonso Marquez. Philadelphia is challenging the call of no hit by pitch. Alfonso Marquez is the crew chief. I mean, JT even showed it gloves, so it had to have like a mark on it, on his glove. The word was torn. Yeah, well, yeah, you're right, the mark right there. See? Hold on, I can draw. Where's my circle thing? Do the squiggly line, the yellow line. Well, he's got to turn his head now. There he is, right there. See that? That is the MLB logo. It is. Harmon Killebrew, right? That's what people think. It's Harmon Killebrew. I do believe that's what people think. Here's a closer look at it. Yep, that hit the hand. That is pretty clear. However, we have uh, said it's pretty clear before. Well, JT thinks it's 
After review, the call is overturned. The batter was hit by the pitch. Philadelphia will retain their challenge. All right, so base runner for the Phils. That is one thing baseball's got right. If you get it right, you can keep your challenge. Yes. The NBA, you can challenge and win the challenge, and you're done. Mm -hmm. All right, so Alec Bohm is the batter. He's 0 for 2. Popped it up. Two away. Though you gotta love that the youngsters are help picking it up with Segura being out. Leton out in front, he, it's 0 and 1. to right field and Ward comes on he can't get it it's going to go to the scoreboard Real Muto will score Maton is hustling the third and he'll get there <laughs> Phillies are on top eight to nothing Another really good swing by Maton right there. Got got on top of one. Get that line drive with the top spin that Ward tried to make a shoestring catch out of, but couldn't get it. And, you know, with Maton's speed, that was an easy triple. And JT speed, er, easy score from first. Two more, Tom. Two more. Mm -hmm. We cover. Off the end of the bat, off the leg of the pitcher. Not able to throw out Bryson's stop. That goes down one, six, three. And the side is retired. Four run score, three on an opposite field home run by Bryson. That was a moonshot. We'll head to the sixth. Billy's up, eight nothing. Get away with a great deal at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now's the time to get in and get away. Get 0% APR, zero payments for 90 days, and 500 bonus cash on select vehicles. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Get Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. I wish that Shaq was my real life big brother. What's up, little bro? Turns out some wishes do come true. And it turns out that General is a quality insurance company that's been saving people money for nearly 60 years. For a great low rate and nearly 60 years of quality coverage, go with the General. One of the holy grails of collecting is Josh Gibson card. Following an 0-3 start and an ERA of 8.53, Zach switched gears on April 28th and has not slowed since. Wheeler has been dominating in his last six starts with an ERA of 
and opponents hitting just 209. In 38 and two thirds innings pitched, he has struck out 47 and has punched out seven or more in all six starts. That's why he's the Philly of the Week, and it's brought to you by Independence Blue Cross. We go to the top of the sixth inning. And Zach Eflin has an eight run lead to work with. And Shoei Otani leads it off. He fouls it away. There's Zach Wheeler. He was named National League Pitcher of the Month yesterday. That'll do it. 1.65 ERA. <laughs> yeah, here's where you don't mind facing Trout and Otani up eight nothing. Well, particularly when you get Otani out, right? One out here in the sixth. Well, here's Mike Trout. Fanatic uh, dancing with some of the ALS patients who are here today, including to the left, Army Lieutenant Colonel Chuck Schretzman, who we talked about before. And Trout sends one to the right side. Whoa, what a play! Nick Maton. A diving play. He may have hurt himself, but he made an unbelievable grab for the second outs. Let's just hope he just knocked the wind out of himself. Yeah, he went down hard. Paul Bukite immediately comes running out. So does Rob Thompson. Yeah, it looks like it could be a shoulder. That, that is a fine play. Uh, arm that they're playing with right now was outstretched, so he landed right on the inside. And no doubt jarred it. Watch it here. That thing right into the glove, but yeah, you're right. That right arm was outstretched, and that is a painful, painful injury. Yeah. So Nick is going to exit. I'm sure Camargo is going to come in. I mentioned Gene Segura uh, had surgery on his fractured hands, the index finger. All right, so Camargo is going to come in. Well, Rob Thompson's first day. Gotten a lot in, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he has. Margo's excellent defender, no doubt. He's got to put the receiver in his cap. And there are two outs. Uh, Jared Walsh, who is one for two, will be the hitter. How about the job that F1 has done since that first inning where he allowed the two, the two base runners? Yeah, he's been really good and, and really good. Quick. About 68 pitches with two outs here in the sixth inning. I mean, what more can you ask for? Offense is supplying the runs, and Zach's pitching great. Defense has been really good. You know, that recipe for success, Tom. 
Can you smell it? It's yes. In the, it's in the I air. I can smell it. It's either that or the cheesesteaks, but I can smell it. Boy, there are a lot of folks up on the Rankin rooftop, aren't there? Underneath the retired numbers. One and two. It's almost as if they're looking for fireworks. And speaking of fireworks, the Xfinity fireworks shows will be Friday, July 1st, Sunday, July 3rd. And don't forget, new this year, enjoy a must see short film titled The Fanatic Saves the Fourth on Fanavision. A little cue shot up the third baseline. Visit Phillies.com to secure your tickets to the fireworks shows. Yeah, the Phillies got the fireworks th show started early tonight. First pitch of, the, of their first at bat to Kyle Schwarber leading off. Bob. Mm. That's that Earl Weaver, right? The three run homer. Earl loved the three run home run. Who, two of them tonight, don't we? Was Stotts a three run, I think? Yes, it was. And Bryce's was three run? Fly ball, shallow right. Alec Bohm is under it. Pop out to the third baseman. That's an eight pitch inning for Zach Eflin. Middle of the sixth. The Phillies are on top, eight nothing. Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. What a throw from Bats, and it's on the Are money. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Mookie Bats with a home run. Two run blast. And it is down the base hit. Bats on his way to second, and the Dodgers have the lead. Out of the right center field. Catch me on MLB.TV. Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. The lottery. Pennsylvanians are scratching their way to fun thanks to Pennsylvania Lottery scratch offs. Players must be 18 or older. Please play responsibly. And by Ford, hurry into your local Ford store. Shop online at buyfordnow.com. Juan Lagares is in in right field for the Angels. As Mickey Moniak rounds out for the first out. And that'll bring Schwarber up. Schwarber's homer, he's also walked tonight. Tonight, you can text coupon to 40384 to receive a valuable offer from Giant Food Stores, the official grocery store of the Phillies. Center field again. Going back out of this trout. Back to the wall. Forget about it. It's gone. Off the wall again. Two solo home runs for Schwarber. He has 14. It went 435. And it's stuck in the ivy. John, he's got 867 feet of home runs tonight. That, 
That is impressive. And I, I know you've seen Brian Howard hit balls, but I mean, just it, it's a similar swing, just short and quick to the ball. But they're just massive human beings. And yeah. when they hit it off the barrel, it's going to go. Well, now Reese Hoskins. Yeah, it's 0-1. Reese fouls it. One more, Tom. We hit the spread. One more. Could add the seven and a half in the back pocket right now. Yeah. I don't think we're done yet. Not the way the ball seems to be traveling. 16th multi home run game for Schwarber. Let's face it, too, that one he hit to the wall that Trout caught. That had, a, that had a chance too. Two and two. Got to stay in the game though with Maton going out, Camargo having to come in. Zach has 3D. He was out of the zone. By a lot. That'll bring Harper up. He could put uh, if Reese got thrown out there. He could put JT at first, right? And put Stubbs in to catch. Yeah. Two and one. That's a healthy swing. Again, Harper hit the home run tonight, and you can bid on the Bryce Harper team issued game used 2022 Lou Gehrig Knight jersey by going to uh, Phillies.com slash Lou Gehrig auction. Kyle Schwarber's game used 2022 Lou Gehrig jersey, his 16th. Multi home run game. You can bid on that one. Two one pitch. Out foul, out of play. Two strikes. There are a ton of game used bats that are on that list. We mentioned it before. You can bid on those, including the Mike Trout game used bat. I thought it was nice that when, uh, I, who was it? Nelson and Aaron. Yeah. And Reese and Bryce caught the first pitch. That was pretty cool. And uh, I thought it was. I thought it was really classy of Mike Trout to go out there too. After they threw the pitch, he went out and shook everyone's yeah, hand and talked to him for a while. Very cool. He gets it, that's for sure. Yeah, it was uh, it was Colonel Schretzman who was out there. Denise Naylor, Brian Rosica, and Stephanie Kamezis. 
They all threw out the ceremony of first pitch. Here we go. What a shot that is, huh? Seriously. Two hell of a players right there. Both of them. There's a fly ball left field. That's deep. Marsh is going back. No chance. It's gone. He's gone oppo twice. Ten nothing Phillies. It's finally home run derby time. You remember Bash the Bell? Well, they're bashing it tonight. It's a beautiful thing. I, I, again, it's you know they, they're staying on balls. They're not you know trying to lift and separate. They're just staying on ball. Schwarber two home runs to center. Bryce two home runs to left. And that's that's the way you hit. Well, we've got a pitching change. Harper's gone yard twice. Schwarber has as well. Ten nothing Bills. Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. TV with a two-year right, your heritage at Citizens Bank Park African-American Heritage Celebration will be Wednesday June 29th against the Braves and the Jewish Heritage Night will be Tuesday July 5th versus the Nationals order a theme night ticket today at phillies.com slash theme nights get your theme night ticket you get a prize with that theme night ticket season high five home runs tonight for the Phillies two for Schwarber two for Harper one for Stott Moniak has a single. There's Castellanos. He takes a strike from Andrew Once. Harper's 24th multi home run game. Yeah, Castellanos and Bowman, the only guys that haven't gotten a hit in the lineup so far. That could change here. Let's see Wants' numbers. Ball left field. Marsh is there. And the inning is over. But the Phil's got a couple more home runs, two solo shots. We head to the seventh. Phillies are on top. 10-0 over the Angels. Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. Yo empecé a jugar aquí en Magdalena cuando tenía seis años. Aquí en, en Magdalena estaba un poco chiquito. Lo único que hacíamos era, era jugar béisbol todos los días. Dos jugadores hermanos de Magdalena en grandes ligas pone el nombre de la ciudad en un nivel muy alto. Para mí, clásico es lo mejor que pueda pasar porque se junta lo mejor de lo mejor de cada país. Todas las oportunidades que pueda representar a México ahí, ahí va a estar.
What a throw from Bats, and it's on the Are money. You kidding me? Are you kidding me? Mookie Bats with a home run. Two run blast. And it is down the base hit. Bats on his way to second, and the Dodgers have the lead. Out of the right center field. Catch me on MLB.TV. Delaware Valley Honda dealers game summary as we go to the top of the seventh inning the Phillies have a uh, season high five home runs they lead it 10 nothing and Zach Eflin has gone six innings he's struck out four covered all the spreads too Tom oh yeah oh yeah Fouls it and it's one and one. Seventy five pitches. Pretty darn good. Sure is. Fly ball to left field, playable for Schwarber. He waits a few steps from the track. And one out. Time now for a Chick-fil-A nugget, June 3rd, 2007. Right fielder Shane Victorino hits a solo walk-off home run on his school of figurine day for a 9-8 win over the San Francisco Giants. What was great about that is that Harry, who broadcast so many games for the Hawaii Islanders, he threw out a Hawaiian saying when Victorino hit the home run. It just made it that much better. Victorino said it was a very emotional day. 0-1 to Brandon Marsh, who's 0 for 2. Tell you what, he is just free and easy, isn't he? Yeah. Two-mile our fastball. Five strikeouts for Eflin. Okay, just elevated on Marsh right there. Got the swing through. Hello. You know, I had a couple of those yesterday at Ruben at the uh, Callis. The Ashburn Callis Golf Foundation. That is an excellent beer. The Yingli flight. To the right side. That'll leak in for a base hit for Stasi. His second hit. I wore that uh, pullover. Dick Yingling sent me one with flight. Yes, he did. Yes. And uh, I wore that on the plane today flying up here. Because you were flying? Is that why? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I didn't put that together, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> I never even gave that a thought. Did they somebody think you were a flight attendant or something? I, I, you know, I was getting ready to, you know, jump into the old cockpit and <laughs> fire that baby up. Yeah, it was good beer though. Uh, we had the golf outing yesterday. Yeah. And raised a lot of money. Ruben and his staff. That's a, that was a heck of a tournament. They man. did a great job. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. 
down the right field line. That's going to be in for a base hit. Stasi's going to get the third. He'll hold up there. Phil Nevin holds him up. Duffy holds up at first. So first and third with two outs. Tommy Green won the longest drive yesterday. Shocker. But Ben said that he hit it 30 yards past Tommy, but it was out of bounds. I think Ricky said he hit it like 20 yards past it, but it was out of bounds also. All right, so who's they want to take? Well, Tommy's. They took Tommy's because he got the prize. I don't know. He's in bounds. Yeah. Did you watch that match, the match with uh, Josh Allen and no, Patrick No, because we were Mahal? playing. Oh. I, I, well, I shouldn't say that. We got home. After the game that night, and I think they still had four or five holes left. That wasn't safe for the spectators. Because it was all they were all over the place. Oh my right? gosh. Yeah. Well, I can't tell you that if there were spectators yesterday, it would have been safe for some of them. No, I can yeah, I can see that with some of the uh, overly aggressive mm. swings. One ball, no strikes. Uh, but it was great to see uh, Merrill Reese was there yesterday. Bernie Perrant, Paul Holmgren. Obviously, it was great to see all of our friends, Mickey Morandini, Milt Thompson. Did Dave Hollins come up? He did not. Nope. He was there in spirit, though, as he always is. Larry Boa, Charlie Manuel. Leslie Goodell, Michael Barkhan was there. Ricky Bowe, we mentioned. Neil Hartman was there. Al Morgani. Thanks to Rhea. Thank you, Rhea, for reminding Al about it. I played down at Clearwater with him and Jonesy. That's like a comedy act, those two. <laughs> Al and Jonesy? Yeah. Jonesy, of course, Jonesy shows up with flip flops or sandals. <laughs> No and, golf spikes on. And played? Oh, yeah. Comfortable. Two balls, two strikes. Schmidt was there. Schmidt signed a jersey that we raffled off at the end. D. Lynham was there as well. It was fun. Charlie? For Charlie? Charlie was there. Two balls, two strikes to Wade. Fouled off. Down the left field line, out of play. Saw Ruben's mom was there at the end. So it was great to see her. His brother Dave. Yeah, I hate it. I couldn't play. Yeah, folks were asking about you. See how you're feeling. Ground ball back toward the middle. Bryson Stott's got it. He'll just go to the bag at second. The short way in time. Side is retired. No runs. A couple of hits. No big deal. Time to stretch. We'll go to the bottom of the seventh. Ten nothing. Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick fil A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're gonna get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick fil A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches, there's no touching it.
pitching great. Uh, you know, it's Rob Thompson, World Series, I think. He's amazing. All right, we're good. We're, we're, we're good to go, but really an impressive display, though. It's, it's, it's good to see because this is kind of what you were waiting for, that team that looked like a softball team. They showed up tonight. And, I mean, Schwarber? He's almost got three. He just missed that one ball to center field. Harper, I, what I like about Harper is he's going the opposite way with the ball. Yeah, and I like the production they're getting from the younger guys, too. I just hope Nick Maton's okay. What a, pl yeah. what a, play, what a play, by play. the way. That was Great remarkable. Play. remarkable. If, if we're watching Schwarber hit home runs out like that, it must be June. He did this last year. 16 home runs in the month of June. National League Player of the Month. Maybe they're on their way. You did your research. Uh, well, nice just a, job. He can, just can carry a ball bit. club. Just he can carry a ball club. So. John Crook, great to see you back once again. We'll talk to you post game. Nice. Tommy. And by the way, I can't believe these guys didn't hit the uh, win longest drive. Can you? Uh, no, I can't. But how about this? So there was a point where we thought we were leading. I think I told Ben this. And we're like, wow, how could we be leading the longest drive? It was for 70 and older. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, that drive was about 120 yards last yeah. I checked. <laughs> yeah, well, and we were still leading, Ricky. It was and very whatever, funny. Whatever wins. Great day. It was a great, great day. day. Yep. I know. All right, we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. No balls, one strike to JT, and he bounces one up the third baseline. It was at, at Yardley Country Club, by the way, which uh, they did a great job with it. That's a pretty nice course. Yeah. Real nice. Tell you what, it's nice to see JT swinging the bat. I, you know, you get worried when you get hit in the hand. Shoots a foul, and it remains 0 and 2. Zach Eflin, seven shutout innings so far, and he's going to come back out for the eighth. Phillies five home runs for the first time since September of last year. Swing a foul tip. So one out here in the seventh. Alec Bones coming up. Join us at the ballpark with the Phillies pregame live ticket package. Forty dollars buys you a lower baseline seat and an exclusive bucket hat. And they even get you to meet your favorite Phillies insiders. It's four nights. Only so make sure you grab your tickets now at Phillies.com slash pregame package. Here's Alec Bohm. And by the way, uh, before we get the night, get through with the night, we do want to say how grateful we have been for the last two and a half years with Joe Girardi. From our standpoint, you know, access is so important. And Joe gave us an abundance of access and insight. And we knew him beforehand. We knew him a long time beforehand. Uh, but we really appreciated that, how classy a guy he was, great family man. And let's face it, he won a world championship as a manager. We don't want to bring that up, though, do we? Well. No, but yeah, you're, I mean, anything we needed, Joe was right there. Always there. And, you know, think about what he did in spring training where he came on with us in the fifth or sixth inning every every yeah. game, every home game, and that was awesome. Yeah, I, th I think him. Get foul. That is way up there toward the left field line. There are two outs as Wade makes the catch. You know, I think, though, you know, you go from player on the field, manager, TV, yeah. and back to man. Joe gets it. Oh, he does. You know, he understands it. You know, you know, a lot of times you go and you say, hey, you know, can we do it? Can we sit down with you for a couple minutes? And. I know how I was as a player. I'm like, you know, I got a million things on my mind right now. I'm talking to you in one of them, <laughs> you know. And, but that's what I mean with Joe. It's he was he was never one you would be like, oh gosh, I got to go ask him if he wants to come right. on with us, you know, because you knew he would say yes. Camargo takes high.
two and one. We're just getting word now that Nick Maton left with a right shoulder sprain. And we'll have further evaluation done. All you can hope for, he's all right, because he's playing. Three balls, one strike to Camargo. Popped up. Shallow left center field. Wade is there again. He'll give way to Marsh. Who makes the catch and a one, two, three, seventh inning. Seven of the Bucks. We're going to the eighth. Phillies up 10 nothing. Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. We started our design company while we were still in school, which is not how it's usually done. But that motivated us. Chase for Business was by our side to build along with us. From banking to payment acceptance to credit cards, all in one place. Plus, they're right around the corner. There's so much inspiration right here in Miami, and you can see it in everything we design. It's emotional to see how much we've grown. You're going to get us to cry on yeah. this. <laughs> Chase for business. Make more of what's yours. Wow! It is showtime! That baby's way gone! Julio! Watch this baby sail! Oh, Bryce Harper! Like when? Honda dealers, heard your local Del Val Honda dealer, visit Del Val Honda dealers dot com. 10 0 Phillies. Uh, and on the dugout are caregivers for uh, folks that are dealing with ALS. We thank them for all they have done. And a pitch inside from Zach Eflin to Juan Lagaris, who came on for Taylor Ward, who left with right hamstring tightness. There's Odubel Herrera, who's now in left field for the Phils. Two and one. I used to get joked that I'm not going to have. We had a big lead. They take me out. <laughs> Why would they take you out, John? Well, because I was a terrible outfielder. <laughs> but it was. Over to shortstop, big hop for stop. I said, how bad you got to be, you can't hold a 10 run lead. <laughs> Very true. Oh. I said, I had to think about it. I'm like, wow, I must really stink out there. There's Shoei Otani. Little round table after the game. I, I was not invited to this uh, this extravaganza. Just you. Oh, I thought that they wanted me to do it so you could do the post game. Is that what was happening? I thought that was it. Mm. No. I didn't get word on that. It may come late, but I didn't get word on that. <laughs> you think it would come early? <laughs> They're getting working your fingers to the bones, Johnny. Put a saddle on my back, man. They're going to ride me hard till the day I, they put me in the grave. <laughs> Pitch outside. That's why I thought Ben was up there. I thought I was only going to do like five innings. He was dressed too hey, too sharp for way us. Way too nice. 
Tell you what, though, that is a good looking man. That Ben Davis? Oh, yeah. That Mark Christopher? Old foul into the netting. A suit, jeans, and a t shirt. He wears it all well. I don't know if he wears. No, no, it's Sarge. Sarge doesn't wear jeans. He's never worn a pair in his life, he said. Why? He said it's too rough on his skin. He is soft. <laughs> 2 2 pitch. Hit foul. <laughs> He just called Sarge soft. Well, skin, I mean. Yeah. Find out about a Phillies minor leaguer who's drawing comparisons to Red Sox legend Dustin Pedroia. That more in depth Phillies coverage 24 7 at NBCSportsPhiladelphia.com. I don't mean Sarge is like soft, soft like Charmin. Doesn't want to play with a little hangnail injury. Right. Oh no, he plays. Oh, I know. I did talk about it. His skin's very soft. It, it is because you've seen him in here. It looks like you know every once in a while when he wears shorts, it, it looks like he oils up a little bit mm -hmm. the legs with baby oil or something. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Otani's down on strikes. Second time Eflin's gotten him tonight. I think he was looking in. Look it in and he got it away. Watch that. Look at that. You know, you know what we said? Cody Bellinger, that's a Cody Bellinger emergency hack mm -hmm. swing, but you know, we used to say uh, his heart was in it, but as you know what wasn't. But we'll say but. We're allowed to say but, right? Yeah, you can say but. Thank you. You're, one of your sons played against him in high school, right? Uh, nah, you know what? That, no, I don't think so. It would have been Patrick. But I don't think they faced it. They may be in South Carolina in a tournament because they were a smaller school than Allentown. One ball, one strike. How far do you live from Millville? I would say I'm about 45 minutes. I mean, I could probably get there quicker if you need me to, though. I bet you can. I don't have any doubt about that. <laughs> Way outside, three and one. Drive out to left field. Herrera is coming on. Makes the diving grab. Whoops. Well, things are rolling the Phillies' way here tonight. No runs, no hits, and nobody left. Phillies are flipping all kinds of leather. We'll be back at the bottom of the eighth. TV with a two year price guarantee. When you have auto glass damage, trust SafeLight. My customer really relies on his car's advanced safety system. You're right. Okay, slow down. So when he got a cracked windshield, he turned to SafeLight. We're the experts at replacing glass and recalibrating your vehicle's camera so automatic emergency braking and lane departure warning work properly to get you back on the road safely. And that means a lot. Schedule now. Safe like repair, safe like replace.
Get Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. Defensive plays of the game, John. Yeah, and this was a dandy right here. The sad part is, is that uh, Mayton robs Mike Trout right there, but jam shot, base hit. The great play by Mayton, but had to leave the game with what is being called a strained shoulder. And then, you know, they're not treating this, uh, this uh, return to the Philadelphia area by Mike Trout too well. That's a no. double robbing Mike Trout of a possible extra base hit. Those are our Hyundai defensive plays of the game, brought to you by your local Hyundai dealers. Tyson Stott takes a strike and it's 0 1. So Wade moves into right field for the Angels. Velasquez is now a shortstop and Ligaris moves from right to center for Mike Trout. 0 2 to Stott. To the left side, base hit for Stott, his second hit of the night. That left side was wide open. Mickey Moniak's coming up. Tonight, the Phillies have given Zach Eflin a 10 0 lead. It's the first time since September of 2020 that a starting pitcher has gotten a 10 run lead or more. And that was Zach against the Washington Nationals. They won a 12 to 3. This is also only the third time since 2008 the Phillies have had two multi, at least two multi home run games. Two different players with multi home run games. Kyle Schwarber's one of them. And he's coming up. Time now for our All-State Mayhem moment. Actually, yeah, he's not coming up. He'll go no. Next. No, he's probably resting. That's that's a lot of running right there. With all the distance he put on these two bombs to dead center. And just missed another one, too, a second at bat. To the center of trout caught up against the fence, but boy, Kyle Schwarber just put a charge in a couple of those tonight. Yeah, this is his spot in the order, yes. but he's not coming up. He's done enough damage tonight. Oh, defensive Kyle, replacement. Kyle, you've done enough damage. Yeah, tonight. good. Go grab a beer and enjoy the rest of this one. Mm. And if you're not busy, you might as well bring one up. Would not be a bad idea. Wow. Ball one strike to a duple. There's Norwood warming up. Two and two. Zach go out and pitch the ninth inning. We shall see. I bet if you ask him, you know what he'd say. Popped up, shallow left field. And Marsh makes the grab. He took control. 
Uh, there are two outs, and here's Reese. Back to the fifth inning. The one thing about a team that's losing 10 nothing is they've only used three pitchers. Yes, that's a good point. And, you know, you got two more games left in this series. Last thing you want to do is to show the Phillies your entire bullpen in, in the first game. Yeah, I mean, Berea gave up six runs, but he did go four. Two balls and one strike to Reese. That one off his foot. Two and two. Now one hop to short. Velasquez throws to second just in time to get stopped. The inning is over. 6 4 on the put out. We're going to the ninth. 10 0. Phillies on top. Get Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. We started our design company during school. Which is not how it's usually done. Chase for Business built along with us. From banking to payment acceptance to credit cards, all in one place. Plus, they're right around the corner. Chase for Business. Make more of what's yours. Direct TV with a two year price guarantee. Now, with available all wheel drive, visit your local Tri State Toyota dealer today. Buy Xfinity. Supercharge your home with supersonic Wi Fi only from Xfinity. Buy Citizens, official bank of the Phils. And buy Independence Blue Cross. Learn more at IBX.com. We go to the top of the ninth inning uh, on a night where we honor those who are battling ALS here at the ballpark. Players have the patches on their jersey. They're wearing wristbands. The umpire's wearing wristbands with the ALS logo. James Norwood takes over. So they put up on the board that through the Phillies. Uh, through tonight's game, everything going on here, all the, the grab bags that were for sale and the bidding online, over $300,000 raised. I mean, that's pretty incredible. The amount of money that's been raised for the uh, ALS chapter here in Philadelphia. 
Way to go, folks. Way to go. Let's hope that money finds its way to, to finding a cure for this dreaded disease. Yep. Philly's family has raised over $20 million since the start of this venture back in 1984. Two balls and no strikes. To the right side. Alec Bone, short right field, and one out. Every time a Phillies pitcher records a pitch of 95 or more, Comcast will make a contribution to Phillies charities. Phillies baseball is brought to you by Xfinity. Supercharge your home with supersonic Wi Fi only from Xfinity. Well, Rob Thompson to your left, Mike Kalitri to your right. Mike assumed Rob's role, and Rob assumed um, Joe Girardi's role as the interim manager of the Philadelphia Phillies. This one and one. Back in 1995, Rob uh, managed the Oneana Yankees in the New York Penn League. Seven on that heater. And now it's three balls and one strike. Price is a couple home runs tonight. Kyle Schwarber has a couple home runs. Bryson Stott hit his first career big league homer. Yeah, that was cool. He threw him the split after getting to two strikes. It's a great pitch by Norwood. Look at this thing dancing. Woo. Good luck hitting that baby. This is good too, not only for Norwood because he's been struggling, but you know, the last thing you want to do is give the Angels any thought that there might be some momentum going their way for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. oh and one. Oh and two. No balls, two strikes, said the pitch. Just a bit outside. He didn't get him a bite. Twenty-eight thousand seven hundred twenty-one. Swing and a miss. He got him. 98 miles an hour. He finishes off a 1-2-3 ninth inning. 
and combines with Zach Eflin on a five-hit shutout. And the Phillies ring the bell with some authority tonight as they win a 10 to nothing in Rob Thompson's debut as the Phillies skipper. Our Chevrolet player of the game, Zach Eflin, eight solid innings. Five hits, one walk, and six strikeouts. It was a nice moment down in the dugout between Rob and the coaches. Tough day around the ballpark, but it's easy to find joy for Rob Thompson in picking up his first major league victory as the skipper of the Philadelphia Phillies. That scorecard will get framed and yep. hung up in his office. A boy up. Yeah, he's been here for you know through Gabe Kapler's years and obviously with Joe. Feel good for him. Feel good for the man and the guy whose uh, roots are all throughout baseball's landscape. Our Toyota Camry turning points, the long ball. First pitch. And started early. Started early. Bottom of the first inning. First pitch of Phillies batter C. That's Kyle Schwarber. A bomb to dead center field. And then Bryson Scott, man. This is a huge moment for him. First career big league home run. And then, of course, we've seen this guy hit a ton of home runs in his career. Two of them to left field tonight. And then, you know what, Kyle said, you know, I hit one to center, but let me see if I can go just a tad further. <laughs> and he did. He hit the, another shot into the batter's eye, and there's Bryce's second home run the other way. The power was there, the defense was there. Eflin with a great job pitching. A complete victory for the Philadelphia Phillies in this game. Yeah, that's a good way to put it, John. A complete victory. And Kyle Schwarber joins us. Uh, Kyle, it's always a tough day when uh, when a manager loses their job, but you guys kind of exhaled and put together a pretty good disp display here tonight. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, you know, obviously we all wish Joe the best, and, uh, you know, I thanked him for uh, my time, and I think a lot of guys did. So, uh, you know, obviously a tough day, but obviously uh, we moved past it. We uh, were able to have a really good game, complete game, like you guys said, and uh, we were able to get Tom for his, uh, his first one. So. Really good job overall today. You know, and, and for us that have known Rob for so long, that was pretty cool to see this kind of a moment for him in game number one. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the guy's been a baseball lifer, and uh, the, the get him that, that first one as a, uh, you know, I'm sure he's had a couple as the bench coach, but yeah. uh, to give him the first one here as a manager, it's, 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 a, it's, a, uh, it's a good day. Kyle, you know, you and Bryce are going to hit your home runs, but how nice is it to see these young kids, Maton and Stott, yeah. The last two wins, pick it up offensively for you guys. Yeah, it's been great. These guys have been stepping up, right? Uh, we, we got some guys down, and uh, to see these young guys go out there, play the way that they're playing, it, it, it's really refreshing, right? To the, the see that these kids aren't taken by the moment, and uh, to see how they prepare every single day, it, it's been great. And, uh, you know, we're, we're hoping all the best here with uh, Maton. Hopefully it's not too bad, and hopefully we can get him back out there. You know, you had the opening day leadoff home run. You had one here. What does that do when you're able to get a get a jump on the opposition like that? Yeah, you know, it's always nice that the score first. You know, especially uh, pitcher goes out there, goes uh, gets a, gets a zero in that first inning, and uh, we can score first. It's, it, it's great, right? It, it just gets a little bit of a momentum on our side, and uh, we kept pushing all the way through today. How good was he to watch tonight, Eflin? Oh man, spectacular! You know, pace was great. Uh, out there pounding the zone. Uh, getting strike one and it, it was a lot of fun to play behind. Well, I tell you it was fun to watch and, and hopefully this is a sign of things to come, but we enjoyed it tonight, Kyle. Well, I appreciate it, guys, and uh, we'll see you guys here tomorrow. All right, great. All right, Kyle Schwarber, two home runs tonight, and they were long ones. Zach Eflin, he was the beneficiary. He picked up the victory innings tonight. Tomorrow's game two. It'll be on national television. We'll be back on Sunday at 1.30 on NBC Sports Philadelphia, streaming on the My Teams app. Jeff Halfman's our senior producer, John DeSangro, our associate producer, and our director has been Nick Marchetta. For John Kruk and our entire crew, I'm Tom McCarthy. Thanks for watching, everyone. The Phil's win it. Stay tuned. Pure Auto Insurance presents Philly's Post Game Live, coming up next.